Hi everyone! Today I'm going to show you another quick tip in Photoshop. As you can see, this image starts with a background that is made up of overexposed, overcast skies. And, well, I personally like using overcast skies in a lot of my images. Sometimes you just want a blue sky, and you just don't get it that day. So I'm going to show you how to quickly take this image and give it a more sunny uh, blue sky look in just a couple of minutes. So to start, the first thing I notice about this image is that the lighting on the model here is a little bit underwhelming, and in order for it to look natural in a blue sky setting, we need to go into Image, Adjustments, Brightness and Contrast. Now that we're in Brightness and Contrast, we're just going to quickly add a little bit more light to this image. It's going to make the model look a lot brighter, and it's also brightening up the sky behind us, which is going to be useful when it comes to color changing. So that looks a lot better for what we're going to be doing with this image. So I'm going to click OK. And now we're going to go up to Select, right up here, Color Range. So when you're using select color range, what you're doing is you're deciding what range of an image's colors you're going to be affecting. In this um, case, while making a blue sky out of a white sky, we're going to be selecting all of the white. So I'm going to go ahead and use my eyedropper tool right here and click the main portion of the white sky. And that's while I'm in this setting right here, which is your starting point. Now I want to add to that, so I'm going to click the plus button. Now I'm going to be adding other aspects of the white sky until I don't really see any gray left. So I'm clicking around different areas. One area, you can also click on the actual image while you're doing this. One area that I know is not going to get picked up very well is down here close to the shrub edges. So I'm going to click right there and as you saw that affected um, the lower edge of this image. So we know we have a lot of that selected. And so, just looking around here, click in the corners, it looks like we've got a pretty good selection here, so I'm going to go OK. And the next step we have to do is go over to right here, and we need to change, luckily our background is already white, we need this box in the back to be white. and. The um, color changing box in the front needs to be blue. And what we're going to be doing is selecting a shade of blue similar to the sky. That looks good to me. Now that we have that selected, we're going to go here. And right now you might have this under paint bucket. You're going to be selecting gradient tool. You're going to click at the very top of your image, maybe somewhere in the middle, maybe off to the edge, depends on what angle you want your lighting to hit it. And you're going to slide all the way down. I'm going to slide all the way down. And what that does is it gives us a gradient of blue that's deeper at the top of the image and lighter at the bottom. So that's good. I'm going to go ahead up here and deselect this. And one of the main issues left in this image is that doing this shifting in the sky has kind of messed up a little bit of these reeds up here, and that's just kind of a loss we're going to have to take with this image. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my, um, my healing brush here, go up here, just kind of grab little chunks of the reeds that kind of look like they're hanging off in space. clean it up a bit and make it look a little less bizarre. Alright, that looks a lot cleaner. So that's pretty much the basics of getting a blue sky into your image. There's still a lot of effects I could do to this image to improve it greatly, um, but as far as just getting the basic sky into the background, that's all you need to know.
And from there, if you really want to, you can go up to Adjustments, Hue and Saturation, click on your cyans or your blues, depending on what shade you have in the sky. And you can up your saturation, dim it down a bit, maybe even change the hue a little bit. Like that actually looks a little more natural to me. And you can click OK. So those are the basics of getting a blue sky into your image. I hope that helped. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.